All right, so we are in Google Chrome and we have a random name picker right here. So this is a Mercedes-Benz W124. It's going to be based on that car. So we have England, France, Russia, Italy, US and Poland. And that's where we're going to choose from. So we're just going to start off. Um, this is going to be five episodes and then a auto olympics so let's get our first country okay so our first country is the us so we're just going to delete that so let me just get my note so our cars are go are going to be from germany standard uh, us and what's our third car going to be from France uh, what's our fourth car going to be from let me just get so Italy our last car is going to be from Russia, okay, so we have cars from Germany, that's, that's uh, what we're going to do this episode, uh, US, next episode, France, the episode 3, Italy, episode 4, and Russia, episode 5. So the only cars we don't, or the only countries we didn't get in this video are Poland and England. Right, so as you can see I'm on Wikipedia and I actually just don't want to make a engine that's not really um, that's not real so uh, I want to make a station wagon also known as a combi and I want to make the E36 T AMG engine and it was from 1993 to 96 and it has 272 horsepower that's pretty much and uh, so we're going to make a station wagon I think a 3.6 liter with uh, 272 horsepower so I'll see you in a bit um, I'm now just going to search like some specs and I'll see you in a bit so I am now on ultimatespecs.com it has an inline 6 it yeah we also know it as a petrol uh, it's a yeah it's a 3.6 liter 3600cc uh, 24 valves uh -huh. um, okay 380 newton meters top speed is 250 yeah that's all that's uh, still with Mercedes these days uh, 0 to 107 seconds uh -huh. Length uh, for six six and wheelbase. Aha! So that's pretty, uh, pretty much that I need. So we're not going to make like the whole car. Uh, we're just going to make like the engine and some details from it. There's not the whole car. So now we're just going to open automation and we're going to start off. All right. So even though the car uh, is from 1994 to 96, I think that this one is like the best. It has 2.6 meters of a wheelbase, and it's like square. It it has like a square thingy. So I think we'll just go with that. Um, we will just need something less aluminium yeah that's okay uh leather no this one is okay uh let's just go with steel long door yeah um this one is okay And this one, okay.
so I just noticed that it's not fitting into the vehicle so I think that we st have to stick in like the two above uh, 2 liters so maybe like 280 TE going to get with like the original engines perfect so uh, overhead cam 4 valves per cylinder nope 2200 99 yeah 2299 so 97.4 77.4 oh yeah you can have it so uh okay so we can actually just like it has nothing mm -hmm. Um, so we'll just make the engine first and then actually do like other stuff this color is not okay it's not that nice let's just do like a new color new paint no that that's really that's really awful that's really not nice new paint. Um, so it has like a plastic bumper, so let's just do that. Yeah, that's that's looking way nicer. Look. So this vehicle has 132 horsepower, so I think that that's going to happen. And that's going to be pretty easy. So yeah, we're just going to do it with this. So it's a... Let me just look, it's a, is it a... Yeah, it's a rear wheel drive automatic four speed uh, the top speed is 188 yeah that's okay um, automatic locker I think tire type medium compound I think <laughs> yeah that's okay I think <laughs> so um Yeah, let's just yeah this is okay uh, so it has 17 inch wheels like that yeah tire diameter is we have to get like a little bit bigger tires like this yes yeah um yeah this just steel yeah, and we need to get like a little bit more. Um, let me just look. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. Like this. Uh huh. Um, drum solid. I think this one. And front brakes are disc. So it has to be one of these. Yeah. And the rear brakes are also disc. So. Let's just go with four pistons each. Size has to be like 215 or 20, okay. Under tray. Uh, yeah, I think still none. 
there isn't a under tray standing here. Nope, nothing standing here. So interior, um, so it's, I think, still. Um, no, it's from the 1990s, so I think it's like. Let me just standard or premium. I think premium, like standard infotainment. Mercedes Benz W124, and then the and then the 230 TE. All right, I got it. So I just noticed 9.0 or just nine. Um, it has two of these in line four. I think that that slows down the car. 18.8, ah, okay. Alright, so what can we do? Uh, look why is this at 15 ah yeah the camp profile So I changed the color, I made like um, the window trim chrome, or did I? Window trim chrome, ah no, chrome is better. And um, I will now make the vehicle look like a vehicle.
so it's now exporting and while I was making the car um, yeah just I don't know how but the name Berkerson just came into my mind like I don't know why let's just change this one so yeah this is the Bergenson uh, traveler combi 220e so I'll see you in beam ng all right so we are now in beam ng and the Burgerson Traveler Combi E220, nice. I've also made the Basora FTX, F for family, T for turbo, because it's a 5 liter turbo. And this is a 500cc vehicle. If you want me to make a video on that, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but now we're just going to test the Burgerson Traveler Combi. E220. I'm really excited because I've never. Uh, oh, that sounds pretty cool actually. Oh, that sounds really nice. It it looks a bit like. I'm sorry, but my skills are in that. my uh, controller in real quick and I'll see you in a few seconds okay so now we are using my controller and I don't know what's happened to ah uh, okay so it's not really that visible um, if you're like far away but it is my car really close up to the car um, so let's actually do a free test and other stuff like that. And it is like a lovely test. Alright, spray test, here we go. Seems okay to me at the moment, I don't know. Really not that much happening. Thing is breaking off. Brakes are ah, okay, I think. Yes, it, it, it seems like it has a pretty uh, good acceleration, but if you like, imagine that it takes. How many? Like 11.4 seconds to be at 100 kilometers an hour? It's it's really my time though, actually. All right, so we're going. Oh. It, it it's still doing pretty good. Um, so now let's just uh, first of all let me just uh, go to the other side or let's take the rim let's just do it. It, it 
Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, well, there was. Um, it still dries. go uh, to the outside of this uh, test track and I'll see but now first just uh, a quick ramp how does it land that's my question Two front wheels broke. But it still drives. Okay, so now uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now we're outside of the test track. 0 to 62, it has to uh, be in 11.3 seconds. I'm not quite sure, so let me just time that real quick. Alright, my timer is ready, or my stopwatch. Uh, three, two, one. So 12.8 seconds. Three, two, one. top speed. So the top speed was 188.5 km an hour and now I'm going to time that. 3, 2, 1.
Um, top speed is 175 km an hour, which is 13 km below the top speed uh, automation gave us. And 0 to 100 in 12.9 seconds, uh, also uh, 1.5 seconds slower than automation gave us. So it's, it's, it's a bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, also still, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. If you want uh, this mod, I think, uh, I will upload it. I'm not sure. If you want me to upload it, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.